Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we have something in this box for the old Saturn here. So we're going to fix her up and uh, we're going to show you guys how to do it. Really, it, it's a lost art in a sense. Oh, darn it. Let's roll that intro. First thing you gotta do is get in the car. And I, I must warn you that it requires something that most cars today don't have. And that is a manual shift knob. Yes, yes, I know. Rest in pieces, manuals. <laughs> we have a new shift knob and it's a Pokemon ball. Let's get it and let's get out with the old nasty thing. And then we're gonna eventually get the new the new cover here as well and maybe it'll be pokemon too huh <laughs> we'll see we'll gotta catch them all right <laughs> so we should be able to just twist this thing off i'm gonna set the camera down and start twisting so we're gonna need you may need some channel locks a hammer just for tapping on it and then a flathead screwdriver first thing you want to do is pop your boot cover off which i did with my hands you could use a flathead screwdriver pry it up and then that gets us to where you can see this and ours is broken which is where the channel locks come in because if we put it if we put it the channel lock right here we can turn this while holding you may have to hold this top part too and then that will fall down and then you have these little tabs right here that we will use the flathead screwdriver to pry it up like that. Get those pried. Up. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Just like that. It takes two hands. So you use these to pry these little tabs up and then slip right off. Alright, here we go. The last thing that we need to hopefully make this look brand new. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip that up and do what we did last time. Which I guess I need to go get my nope, I don't. Bam, look at that. Just pull that up. That reveals that. We can take that out of there. And pretty soon have this puppy cleaned up looking good. Fresh in the neighborhood. I thought there was a ring in there. I guess there is. I guess there is. It's just zip tied. Perfect. That's what we like. Now we're going to put this adapter on the end of this so it's not threaded and we'll be able to add our Pokeball to it. Alright, just like that we got the new cover over the shifter. That's a new shift boot. It is actually just a little bag that we happen to have. It works perfect! Why not? Now it's time to go ahead and get this buddy on there. And I believe we will use one of these rubber fittings, whichever one fits best, to go over that. And I think it's going to be that end one. So we're just going to pull that off. Shove that guy down all the way like that. And then we'll put this on top of it. And then there's four tiny little screws, we can call them, that will go in on each side. And then hold that in place. There we go. Now we've got that screwed in on all six spots and it's nice and tight 
It's not coming off there, so Cohen, it's time to see if the Pokeball fits. Let's see. Can you screw it on there? Hold on. Don't do it too. Hold on. There you go. Spin it on there. Gotta catch them all, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh, Oof. that looks great. That looks so good. Oh, yeah. We're going to be shifting gears and pushing Pokeball. We're going to shoot Pokeballs out while we're driving. Watch out, guys. Now's the last touch. Can you hold the GoPro for me, please, right here? Thank you. We're going to take this, and we're going to sink it down nice and tight like that. And then we'll just tie a little knot in it. And call that good. That is a job well done. What do we call that right there? Ball shifter. The ball shifter. That's the Pokemon ball shifter. That looks dang good. And we did that all for like under 20 bucks. Uh oh. Under $20. Now there's something else we gotta do. Coming to you soon. All right, now we got that new shift knob on here. There's something else that we gotta do because it always comes to us. So without showing much, we got a new sticker. And we gotta clean this nasty, nasty mess off. Like, I don't know why people do this. It doesn't look good. It's absolutely hideous. Let's go ahead and clean that up. Do it the right way by taking all those off and putting the new one on there making it look fine all right so we got the tag off it's in my hand now and we're going to take it inside because it's a little too windy for my trick to make this super easy to do so let me set that down and here it is the trick it's called a lighter you just get this thing you get this sticker nice and hot warm it up and it'll peel right off it's super easy and i don't know why people don't do it like it just maybe they don't know i hope you know now and there we go just like that and a little bit of help we got seven years off this license plate now it's time to put it back on the car without this ugly frame and then put the new sticker on wait where'd that paper go uh oh well there we go she's all fixed up time to clean up God if you and we got both if you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. Ring we'll that bell. Ring that bell for Cohen. And we'll catch you in the next one. Have a great night and God bless. Bless. <laughs> BB. BB. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got it fixed in you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.